Welcome to Epic Stock Due Diligence. Please subscribe at youtube.com forward slash epic stock DD. Thank you. Hey everyone, Ed here and welcome to Epic Stock DD. Uh, today I want to talk about a topic that you may or may not be familiar with and that's predicting the pump. Now if you've played a few micro cap stocks, also known as penny stocks, you're probably aware that a lot of the large percentage gainers are the result of a pump. Now some of the pumps can be more covert than others, but ultimately most all of them they pump and they dump, meaning that they go way up, a few thousand percentage increase likely, and then they go back down into the seller. And that's uh, triple zero one on the ask and nothing on the bid. There's no market makers on the bid, so even if you wanted to sell it, there wouldn't be any buyers. So predicting the pump, now how can this be a uh, beneficial strategy? Well, it can be a beneficial strategy from the standpoint that if you look at a lot of uh, micro cap stocks that typically receive a lot of attention, you can look at a historical stock chart and go back a few years. Now see from, uh, from a historical perspective, do those stocks tend to pop and flop? And if so, some of those might be a good candidate, uh, might be good candidates rather, for a super ultra, ultra, ultra super duper speculative uh, trade because if someone gets in on one at the bottom when there's no interest, no visible pump or anything, a triple zero one on the ask, and holds it for, uh, for a few months or a few years, whatever, however long it may take, if history repeats itself and those conditions occur again, that's when huge percentage gains can be made. And I'm talking about phenomenal gains. But likewise, people getting in at a triple zero one on the ask play, uh, they may be left stuck holding the bag, meaning that they've got this triple zero one stock with nothing on the bid that they couldn't sell if they wanted to, and it may never come out of the seller. It, it may never get a bid again, and if that's the case, that's just money that's been uh, speculatively put in a pot and it's going to go nowhere. So, you know, it's, it's, real, it's really a matter of one's risk tolerance, but if someone's made and a phenomenal percentage gain on another play and they want to speculate uh, not just with, uh, with stocks that are momentum plays that have, uh, that have volume associated with them, but someone that wants to speculate with, uh, you know, with, with what would hopefully be a sleeping giant, one that's a triple zero, one on the ask, and, and by looking at that historical chart, it seems that there's a pump that's occurred at, you know, during X month or X season or whatever. And it may be possible to predict uh, that you know similar performance for that year. So it may be worth putting you know whatever uh, whatever speculative amount of money uh, might uh, might want to you know someone might want to toss at it. But uh, as as the uh, as as I've always mentioned during my previous videos, I'm not a huge fan of these triple zero plays because there's just so much risk. I mean it's. It's basically like throwing your money at uh, at something, expecting it, expecting to never get that money back. But not saying that's a problem. I mean, not saying that's not a good thing because if someone's made several thousand percent increase on other plays, on really quality plays, momentum plays, it may be worth speculating and throwing a, a small percentage of money into that pot and hoping that hey, maybe history will repeat itself and maybe I'll have some really phenomenal gains. I mean, when you're talking about a triple zero one, you're talking about a hundred dollars out of pocket, and you're getting a million shares. You got to factor in commission, though. But typically, with an online broker, you're only looking at about eight to ten bucks for commission. So, I uh, just wanted to share this uh, this thought process with everyone, and I appreciate all your subscriptions. I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of uh, fresh faces subscribe, and I appreciate that. And uh, actually, I'll probably be on a radio show soon, so uh, if I am, I'll be sure to, uh, to share that information with everyone on my channel. So thanks again for all your subscriptions, all your support, and uh, y'all have a good day. And if you haven't checked out the book already, uh, please do so. It's the Penny Stock Perfectionist, and it's available for a very affordable price in the Apple iTunes store. And I've got a link to uh, purchase that book within this video's description. And then also, if you go to the main page, youtube.com, 
forward slash epics.de. You'll see off to the right a little button there that says buy my book. Y'all have a good day.